So here we have our entry test MCQs which is relevant to these entrance examinations. That 27.6 gram of silver carbonate on being strongly heated gives a residue of. So pause or stop this video and try to solve this question yourself. What is your answer? I am explaining the solution of this MCQs. Try to cross check your answer with this solution. As first write a balanced chemical equation for these type of MCQs. From the equation we came to know that one mole of silver carbonate gives a one mole of this residue. As with the help of simple observation you can solve these type of questions in seconds as I have explained in detail in my previous lectures given above. As the molecular mass of silver carbonate is 276 gram which is equal to 1 mole and in MCQs we have 27.6 gram. So we can get this 27.6 gram by dividing 276 by 10. Similarly if we divide 1 by 10 we left with 0.1 mole. So this 27.6 is equal to 0.1 mole. As from basic formula we know that mass in gram is equal to mole multiplied by molar mass. Similarly the mass of residue is equal to mole multiplied by molar mass. So 0 0.1 multiplied by 232 is equal to 23.2 gram. So B is the right answer. In case of any problem regarding this conversion or this formula you can go through my previous lectures. In case of any problem regarding this conversions or regarding this formula you can watch my previous lectures given above. I have explained this hints and concept in them in detail. So here we have an entry test MCQs which is relevant to these entrance examinations. A gaseous mixture contains oxygen and nitrogen in the ratio of 1 ratio 4 by weight. Therefore the ratio of their number of moles is. Try to pause stop this video and solve this MCQs yourself. So what is your answer? I am explaining the solution of this MCQs. Try to cross check your answer with this solution. As it is given that the oxygen and nitrogen are present in the mixture in 1 ratio 4. So the ratio of weight is 1 ratio 4. We can calculate their moles as mass in gram divided by the molecular mass of oxygen gas and mass in gram and molecular formula of the nitrogen gas. So on solving it we left with 7 ratio 32. So C is the right answer. In case of any confusion regarding the solution of this MCQs you can watch my previous lectures in which I have explained this molecule formula conversion and ratio conversion in detail. So here we have our entry test MCQs relevant to these entrance examinations that 100 ml of pH 3 on heating forms phosphorus and hydrogen gas. The volume change in the reaction is. Pause this video and try to solve this question yourself. So what is your answer? I am explaining the solution of this MCQs. Try to cross check your answer with this solution. As first write a balanced chemical equation for these type of MCQs. In this case the phosphorus is solid, hydrogen is in gas. So it is clear now the 2 mole of pH 3 produce 3 mole of hydrogen gas. So 100 ml produce how much hydrogen? Cross multiply it and we get this. On solving it we left with 150 ml. Initially it was 100 ml and here we have 150 ml. So on subtracting them we left with plus 50 ml. This plus sign indicating the increase 
in volume so b is a right answer so here we have our entry test mcq is relevant to these entrance examinations that calculate the number of moles in one cubic meter of gas at stp stop this video and try to solve this mcqs yourself explaining the solution of this mcqs try to cross check your answer with this explanation as we know that 1 cubic meter is equal to 1000 liters and at stp 1 mole is equal to 22.4 liter so if 22.4 liters containing 1 mole then 1000 liters containing how many moles on cross multiplication we get this on solving it we left with 44.6 mole so b is the right answer if you have any problem regarding this convergence or this formula just watch my previous lectures given above i have explained all the concepts hints and tricks in that lectures in detail